Hey everyone, Steve here from the TurtleFollower.com. In this video, we're going to take a look at the markets for this upcoming week. I know I didn't get the chance to put a video out on Sunday or Saturday, uh, so I want to take a moment and just take a quick look at the markets and see where we're headed uh, or where we're potentially headed. Now, in the S&P futures, you can definitely see that we are still navigating this larger range. We thought we had maybe had a slight breakout over this 2110 area. Uh, it didn't come to fruition. Uh, again, today, tried to push through, still didn't work out. For right now, the only saving grace is that the volume is low. Um, but ultimately, this could potentially reverse on us. We'll see what happens. Um, again, we've, we've been talking about the idea of using this uh, smaller consolidation right here between 2076 and 2100 as a potential area that maybe people are getting long for a push through uh, to the upside over 2110. Ultimately, it hasn't happened yet, but I still think that we uh, we break out over this uh, consolidation. You could see here on the weekly chart, we're coming closer to the right-hand uh, support area of this channel, and it just really, to me, just seems like it makes sense to break out before it break down. So today could be a little, you know, shot across the bow type thing. Again, volume didn't increase. It wasn't a huge sell-off. Uh, we were really brought down today by the the Russell, but for right now, I think uh, risk is more to the upside. All right, for missing out than it really is to the downside. So you have the 50-day, you have these couple levels here at 2100 and 2076. You ultimately have an increasing trend line. Uh, so I again think that we potentially break out to the upside. As far as the Dow goes, similar situation on the weekly chart could see we're coming closer to the support area of the channel but ultimately the Dow has been a little weaker than the S&P uh, not really testing its highs yet it has broken out of this downtrend channel but you can see now that we are basically stuck between 18100 and 17500 so still navigating that range again we do have now a trend line to the upside we can get rid of this channel we can even get rid of this consolidation just to make it a little easier and now you can see that this consolidation really goes into this area here and we're looking for a break over 18,200 all right we get a break out there we get a break out on the S&P I think we're good to go all systems go uh, ultimately that's not the one ultimately the Nasdaq is really uh, what I think is leading us and that's primarily because of Apple uh, Apple has had a couple strong days, had a couple, had a nice strong move after hours with earnings. So I think Apple potentially could lead us out of this. But again, the Nasdaq looks great. I mean, nice breakout here. Uh, you know, moving to the upside, we had what doesn't even, you know, maybe a slight reversal signal here. But I think if it does reverse, it probably comes back down to this 4471 and then bounces. But here, you know, again, looking at the Nasdaq, that's why I kind of always like to to look at these futures contracts more than the, the indices themselves because I feel like the futures are a little bit more liquid. You get a little bit more truer price action and you can kind of wait what, what you feel is the best uh, you know, indice. So uh, in my opinion, right now it's the NASDAQ, the S&P, then the Dow, and ultimately now the Russell has actually, with today's move, has actually fallen to uh, you know uh, a little bit of a concern. We have the breakout here on the weekly chart. Okay, we've talked about this in the past, how it's had this breakout over this 1200 area. Finally have it. It's had a nice move up about 50 points from that breakout. 50-day moving average has been supporting. Trend line's been supporting. But ultimately today we had a nice big high volume move to the downside. But, you know, again, look at where we bounced. We've bounced here many times before, right at this 1240 area, right at the 50-day moving average. So we could just be setting up a small consolidation. Uh, along an uptrend and then looking for a break over 1272 so to wrap up what all of this means i just think we break out higher i just you know again we may have a couple days of pullback uh but ultimately i think the risk is to the upside definitely looking at moving higher uh across the board so that's it for tonight again nice quick one uh not really much to di to digest in this uh, just looking at getting a move higher in the markets and potentially then your stocks will have the wind at their back for the long position. So that's it. Thank you for watching.